بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم على نبینا محمد وعلى آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد with approaching steadily approaching is the holy month of Ramadan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to make it to that holy and blessed month the month in which the Quran was revealed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received revelation alayhi salatu wa salam the month when the devils are chained up the shayateen the month in which we use to reflect upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try to assert, try to gain taqwa try to gain God fearfulness it's a time for us to be able to come back to Allah it's a time for us as individuals and as communities to reflect but especially as individuals this is a time for you to get right with your Lord and may Allah bless us all to make use of this time Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for our brothers and sisters in Syria our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan and in Iraq and Somalia in Ethiopia uh, in Mali wherever the, the Muslims are, are suffering and in America and the UK Canada wherever Muslims are going through struggle may Allah bless us to be a time where we have relief from our struggle and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to come closer to Him and to benefit from this holy month of Ramadan and achieve the taqwa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained for us to try to achieve because this is the reason that it, it's legislated for us to fast. It isn't about weight loss. It isn't about the va various health benefits, although there are many. But the reason the Muslim fasts, the reason and the thing we want to attain during the holy month of Ramadan is we want to attain God fearfulness. We want to come closer to Allah. We want to make repentance. We want to... Join what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do do those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do and we want to avoid those things Allah has prohibited us from that's what the believer wants to achieve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitabihi al-kareem he said Kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba alladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and this is regarding the holy month of Ramadan and in fact fasting in general for the believer Allah says that we have prescribed for you fasting as we prescribed it for those who came before you in order that you would attain taqwa, piety, God-fearfulness, that you would avoid those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and do those things, fulfill the commands that Allah has commanded you to do. Taqwa is making a shield between you and the hellfire and as we just uh, mentioned and it is by doing what Allah has commanded and avoiding what he has prohibited that's how we attain taqwa that's how we exercise our iman that's how we exercise our taqwa is by doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do and avoiding what he has 
prohibited us from. So Ramadan is that time which you get a break and try to implement that in your life after Ramadan. Meaning if you have a problem with watching and looking at the har, uh, Muharram, those things that are sinful, Ramadan is the time for you to get right and avoid it because you want your fast to be accepted. So of course you're going to exercise extra precaution in trying to avoid looking at the, the, the things that are prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you have a problem with using with substance abuse or, or using substances period like alcohol and drugs and you know smoking weed and, and what have you then you will use that time to be far away from those activities on top of that the benefit that you want to gain from Ramadan is that you come out a better person a better man or a better woman, a better believer by the end of Ramadan that after Ramadan you're still practicing and avoiding those sins that you implement a regimen during Ramadan and you carry that regimen with you throughout the rest of your life until you reach until death overtakes you That's what the believer is striving to do. Attain taqwa. So, we ask that Allah the Almighty blesses us all to increase our taqwa. Increase us as believers. Forgive us of our sins. Bless us to be of the people of Jannah to Fardos, us and the believers everywhere. And may Allah guide the non-Muslims especially those from amongst our family and our friends and associates. May Allah guide them to Islam, to the beautiful religion of Islam. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.